so bros like I've been like delaying this type of thing uh, what I've got to say I've been delaying it and I really should not delay it anymore and I should just flipping come out and just flipping say it to you bros and to everybody who's listening right now so bros the world is changing the world is changing okay and one of the major concerns that I have okay and I feel that you should be educated on it as well because I wish that someone told me about it in the past okay bros what is this change dude pornography violent pornography especially pornography is like the gateway to violent pornography okay just like um, weak weed or like regular weed is like the gateway to stronger weed you understand what I'm saying so weak pornography or we'll just call it like soft porn is the gateway to hardcore porn and hardcore porn is gateway to another kind of porn that you really don't even flipping know about <laughs> bros violent pornography is like there all right what's the now now here's the question what age do people start watching pornography maybe 11 and younger okay 11 years old and younger that's a regular age I maybe started when I was maybe seven okay maybe my first time seeing it was seven um, but then maybe I started watching it when I was like 12 like had internet connection and stuff like that so these kids bros are being influenced by pornography they start getting fantasies to reenact these types of things bros and you see it playing out on like these cases of an Kids like raping kids, bros. It's flipping twisted, bros. Just like out of the blue, there was a story I was just reading now about a 16-year-old boy. It was just before his 17th birthday, bros. And he had just watched Fifty Shades of Grey, bros. And then he, he, what's it now? He just turned on a girl in the, out of the blue, bros. Out of the blue. They had no previous sexual relationship whatsoever, bros. And then he's just like out of the blue, flipping turned on the skull dude flipping turned on the skull and I don't mean like coming like ah uh, no bro flipping no bro I'll attach like the link and stuff like that and then you can do deeper research for yourself bros so that's terrible okay but it's becoming regular we'll just see how many flipping stats there are bro um oh yeah and then another thing about words bro here's another thing <coughs> I felt like not mentioning, but I know it's the right thing to do, and I'm a flipping mention it, okay? I'm gonna mention it, okay? Like, just like I said, that thing was terrible, right? Or oh, it's sick, or it's twisted, or it's bad. You know, like, words are being promoted. They are words, bro. Words have so much power. You read books about psychology and stuff like that, okay? I'm not gonna go too deep into that uh, facet of life, but words are being used, bros, without you even noticing it. A lot, without a lot of people noticing. You might be smart enough to notice it, though, but I don't expect anyone to really notice it. And words like sick, okay? Words like bad. Words like evil, okay? These words are now being promoted to the youth as stylish words. Words to be fancied. Like, yo, bro, that was sick, bro. That was sick. Okay, this has been coming up for a while, bros. But now it's becoming even more and more. Everything's like... Like, oh, how to flipping explain it to you, bros. Like, a lot of you guys are flipping smart. And um, then there are some people that are, I'm just going to hope that you can flipping catch what I'm saying, dude. Like, this thing, dudes. Like, there's no, like, something where someone says, like, oh, wow, that song was healthy, dude. That was such a healthy song. That was such a caring and loving, healthy song, dude. That was such an awesome song. No. It's more like, yo, that was sick, bro. Yo, did you hear the way that guy raped that beat? Things like that, bros. Like, why use that word? You know what I'm saying? He killed the beat, okay? Look. Or, oh, this thing is savage, okay? Like, a lot of these things are coming up with world star, bros. And I'm not pointing fingers. But what I'm saying has a point. And that point is pointing towards some kind of direction. And that direction just so happens to be where world star is standing, bros. So, savage, bros. Everything and relating to fire. Okay, the fire, that'll be on a deeper level. Like, we won't, we won't step into that type of territory. 
but bros. Things are happening, bros. And it's subtle. It's subtle things. Like Fifty Shades Grey, bros. Fifty Shades Grey. Like, people are beginning to think, some people are beginning to think that it's okay to rape a woman, dude. Like, if you're wealthy, then it's fine. If you've been abused in the past, then it's fine. That's how you show love, man. That's how you show love. No, no flipping way. <laughs> no flipping way, dude. No flipping way. Like, do unto others. Like, here's something that will help so much, dude. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. And how this compass of morality works is, if, it's, if you don't want someone to, like, say to you, or if you want, you don't want someone to do something to you that you would say no to, right? So then, don't do something to someone that someone else would say no to. You know what I'm saying? So maybe someone would like, hey, we're going to get a bit in depth here. Someone might say, oh, no, I like it when I tap a pen on myself. Or I like it when people tap pens on me. But then if that guy starts tapping pens on other people, and the person says, yo, flipping, stop tapping pens on me, bro. He's like, no, I like it when people tap pens on me, so I'm going to keep tapping pens on other people. Some people flipping think this okay that's not what i'm flipping saying what i am saying bros and sisters and whoever else is watching the principle is what matters so the principle of it is like you wouldn't want someone to do something to you that you don't want right you wouldn't want someone to do something to you that you don't want them to do to you so don't do something to someone else that they don't want you to do to them. So if they say no, then flipping stop. You get what I'm saying? Bros, just be awake. That's it, bros. Just be awake. And read, flipping, read uh, Gail Dines' book, Pornland. Read uh, some books on psychology. And I'm not talking about conventional books. I'm talking about books that give you, like, some practical, good advice about stuff, okay? There's a shallow and a deep level to everything, bros. There's a shallow level and a deep level. You get the shallow level of finances, shallow teachings of business, and then you get the deep level of business, okay? You get the shallow level of psychology. You get the deep level of psychology. And it goes like that with all flipping things in life, bros. So, wow, I am looking flipping sexy today, but... Let's hope you guys can just flipping sink the stuff in. Yo, it's flipping Ugh, 31st of December, so happy new year to everybody and have a good one. Just had to speak from the flipping heart.